what's going on? Ooh, what the hell? The tower. Mm, y'all dealing with the Scorpio Taurus. Okay, Taurus, well, if you don't want your Scorpio no more, y'all want Nala. Shoot, she's been acting up today. She's just been really in her feelings. She's been in her feelings because she couldn't eat the rest of my plate. Girl, you better go home. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what we got going on for Taurus? Please understand, Taurians, that not every single message fits all here for everyone, okay? So please take what it is and leave what's not. It's not a big deal, okay? Maybe find some next time. I love you guys so much, Taurians. You know that, right? You know that. Okay. Okay. All right. I just posted a collective reading. If you want to go check that out, we got isolation. Isolation. So some of you guys are going to take some time out for yourself and people. I think you got too many energies around you at this time. Okay. Yeah, look. Yep. I, um, ideation. Okay. You got ideas. You got things. You got plans and things. You got... You, you're ambitious right now. You got goals and stuff you want to reach. You need to isolate yourself. People are trying to... You're around too many energies. A lot of you are feeling very uncomfortable. The simple fact is that you're an empath. Okay? A lot of you are empathic. And it's a beautiful gift to have. But at the same time, sometimes it could be a little bit overwhelming. Especially when you're around other energies that are not on your frequency. Okay? And it's all for what? Your protection. So spirits wanting you to isolate yourself for some of you. Here, what's one more? Yeah, because you're comforting. You love to make other people feel comfortable too, but spirit wants you to protect. Spirit wants to protect your comfort. They like let, let's 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 go with what you need, Taurus. First, okay, we'll figure out the rest. There's gonna be some people you're gonna need to reject, okay? You just need to let them go on ahead and be about their business. All right, whatever they doing, they doing. Let them do it, okay? Some people want you to join the shenanigans, okay? Some people, Taurus, actually know that you're in a high vibration, okay? All right, I'm feeling the energy here, Taurus, where y'all starting to try something. Trying to, you're trying something new here, and a new connection or a new job. I think it's going to be very nice for you. That tower I saw at the beginning of this reading, at the bottom of this deck, I feel like it's a good tower. Okay? It's a beautiful tower, in fact. God dang. Okay? We've got the Knight of Wands. All right? We've got the Seven of Swords. <laughs> mm, Six of Pentacles. All right. First top row here. Page of Cups. We got, we got that. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, hell yeah. Four of Wands. Yeah, I got that in the last reading, too. Spirit outcome. Three of Wands, Taurus. You turning your back and doing your own damn thing. Period, point blank. Okay, period, point blank. I'm jacking it, Taurus. I'm jacking it. That means I'm liking it, okay? That's what that means. No, 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 Taurus. No, 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 Taurus. No, no, no. All right, Taurus. Here you got somebody here that plays around. They play a lot of games. This person's still thinking about you, Taurus. This person's still giving to somebody else, but they want to come towards you, give you an apology, hoping that you're going to share your wealth and greatness with them. And whatever new job, or whatever new relationship you got coming, they want a piece of that, too. So for some of you, a lot of you, my loves, you got somebody here, not a wand, seven of swords, that likes to play around in a lot of different energies. And it's all because they want to see what they can get out of it, okay? I don't really feel like it's a give and take. I feel like it's what they can get out of it, all right, Taurus? So somebody sees you doing good, all right? Spirits want you to isolate yourself, Taurus. They need to protect you, okay? Your comfort is very important to your spirit guides right now. Ace of Pentacles here with the seven of swords. Somebody sneakily sees what you're about to receive. They know. Somebody here is getting readings on you, okay? They be going to a shaman. I'm not sure, not a shaman, but a tarot reader or something. And they're trying to act. They're, they're trying to trick the tarot reader, believing that they that they that they're the other person or that they're you. Trying to get information on yourself, and they're really getting information about you. However, that works. Okay. But here we have the seven of wands as the outcome. Seven of wands, and we have the three of wands, and then we have the nine of wands. God damn, a lot of fire energy here. All right, Taurus. I feel the energy here. You're tired. You're turning your back, and you're protecting yourself. You're standing your ground. Period. Point blank. From wherever the hell this is. They're trying to come back. Spirit's trying to protect you and isolate you from this person. Okay? Period. Here we got, remember, Taurus, um, loves, love bugs. <laughs> remember, Taurus, that when I name off signs, babe, that doesn't mean that, that it has to be that specific person. Okay? So, please always understand that. I get people that get confused with that. Your person could be a fire sign. They could be energy of water. Okay? They could be very emotional. And, you know, it doesn't matter. But either way. But I'll name off the signs. We got Aries, Leo, Sag. We got uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay? Um, Cancer by Scorpio. Yeah. So, Spirit, give me something here for that Knight of Wands. What's that Knight of Wands energy doing here? Two of Swords. They want you to be blind to the fact that they're playing around. They're coming in for a good time. Not a long time. They ain't staying. Okay, Gemini energy. Seven of Swords, Spirit. Seven of Swords here for Taurus. Baby. Nine of Swords. Look at this shit. Seven to the nine. 
So somebody playing games and tricks and shit because they want you to stay up thinking about them. They want you to have anxiety. Oh, I see why spirit wants you to isolate yourself and protect. No. Six of Pentacles here. This person coming to take. That's what they come to do. They come to take your peace and your joy from you. Somebody here doesn't. I don't know. I feel like they're kind of remorseful towards, but in the same sense, they want you to be isolated. Okay. Not this isolation is different from the isolated that they want you to have. Okay. They want you to be bored and lonely and depressed. So that way they can come towards you and say something and you won't jump at. You don't jump like a frog for them. No. Six of Wands here. Six of Wands with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody Taurus wants you to come and give to them. They want to come towards you being sneaky with this energy like they're going to come stay. They're not staying. It's only just to get clout. It's only because they need their ego boost. Page of, wand, uh, page of Cups spirit. What's this Page of Cups? That, that fish is trying to make a mad dash in midair to get the hell out of somewhere. Ten of Cups, Taurus. Someone wants to come say sorry because now they realize that you're their happiness. But Taurus, in this energy here, what I'm seeing, the Page of Cups, that fish is trying to get the fuck up out of that shit, okay? Spirit, give me something else for that Ten of Cups. Somebody see, look at that, look at that, look at all I'm getting. Look, Five of Cups. See, somebody's just trying to come and tower. Somebody's trying to come bring misery to your door. Yep, keep you stuck from being happy, okay? Hermit energy. They want you to be isolated. It's a different isolation that I'm getting with that. Somebody, the Hermit with the Hey Man, these are two major arcanas, okay? I feel, Taurus, that you're going through a very, very big, big spiritual awakening. You may not even know it, but here we are with this Hermit energy and the Hey Man. You're not stuck. You're looking at things from a new perspective, and you're gaining, and you're gaining wisdom. You're gaining knowledge, okay? And that's beautiful with the ten of cups you know what you want but somebody wants to bring you a page a knot of wands at that no ace of pentacles spirit please for taurus what, what, what's this ace of pentacles for my dear taurian spirit please and thank you the star ah yikes i love it so somebody sees you doing the healing somebody sees you getting these big beautiful blessings these brand new beginnings these brand new starts it is mother f and solid is a mother effer because this is a ace of pentacles okay it's a pentacle it took you some time to get here, okay? And you're doing a great job. But the star here, Taurus, is also telling me that a lot of you might be in the spotlight. Some of you may not want to be in the spotlight, but some of you are going to be guided there because there are stories, Taurus, that you may have that people need to hear. You know, you what stress did you go through with the situation? Or, you know, some of you want to start um, channels. I'm very, very much feeling that here. Some of you might be influencers in some way, shape, or form with the star energy here, Aquarius energy, and you're doing a fantastic job. Some of you are motivational speakers, okay? Some of you have this beautiful voice where you're not really a speaker. But when you talk with people, they feel so at home with you, okay? Ace of Pentacles, you give people that home vibe, that steady vibe, that established, that stable vibe, and it's beautiful. It blends so well together. But I do not like what I'm saying at the top, the seven with the nine of swords. So somebody's like literally surrounding you towards with a bunch of stuck ass energy because you're moving forward and doing great. Spirit's trying to isolate you from these people, Taurus, because you got ideas that need to be protected and your comfort needs to be protected and put first as well. No ass, ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's just what it is. Okay? They either do it or they don't. Four of wands here, spirit for Taurus. What's going on? Ooh, God dang. Oh, dang. Okay, we got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Taurus, okay? Loving you, boo, and I love you, loving you, okay? It's time. Ace of Pentacles is here twice. On this, It's clarifying the Four of Wands, mind you. Then we got the King of Swords in reverse. Okay, no. You got a liar in your midst. Like I said, somebody's sitting here watching and seeing what you're doing. They want clout or something. It's somebody's ego that needs to be boosted. But they want to come... That They don't come in and stay for a long time. They want to kind of stay maybe like about maybe... Two more weeks in your life just to see exactly what it is, to see if they're, they're in this FOMO energy, fear of missing out, okay? And fear of missing out on what you got going on. But Spirit's trying to isolate you for somebody. I can't stop saying it. Eight of Wands, this stuff's going to happen so goddamn fast. A lot of you don't notice when this person contacts you, King of Swords in the reverse, they're a liar, okay? They don't think rationally, and they, they're very, very, very um, impulsive, they don't think before they make moves. They just don't. They, whoever this is, they're not a thinker. Okay, Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords in reverse. Yep, like I said, Taurus is somebody that you kind of got, you're getting over. Okay, you're pretty much getting over them. All right, not to mention the Chariot, Cancer, and Energy. All right, you're moving forward, Taurus. What? Towards new friends, towards new loves, towards new everything. You want it and you're going to have it. Okay, you're going to have exactly what it is you want. The will is going to turn in your favor. That came in on the collective reading. The will of fortune and turn in your favor. All you got to do, Taurus, is have the confidence to know that you are safe. You're protected. You're being divinely guided. Okay? But it's going to take a lot. It's going to not take a lot, but it's going to require you to love yourself. It's going to require you to put yourself first. It's going to require you not to be blind when this not of wands comes in. Praying and saying they want you and this and that. And they want to be with you forever. And so give me something for that two of swords. With that not of wands, please, for Taurus. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, you minding your damn business. Pinnacle, pinnacle, pinnacle. Okay? Ten of Swords in reverse. 
Heartache, what heartache? Backstab, what backstab? Oh yeah, that one you gave me. I'm not doing it again. I'm not. You can't keep me stuck in it. Spirit, what's the star here? You healed, Taurus. A lot of you are healers. If you don't even know that, you are. You heal yourself, you can heal others as well, but not in a hot and not a toxic way. Be careful with that. Two of Pentacles. Somebody wants you to feel Taurus as if you're not balanced enough to be healed. You need them to heal. You need to be in your life. You need their coaching. You need their experience. Whatever the hell it is. Ace of Pentacles. Because someone sees you getting something they're not getting. Queen of Wands here. God dang. So here we are with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Some of you are in same-sex relationships. But what I'm getting here, Taurus, is the energy. Queen of Pentacles. You're very, 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 very solid, grounded. Queen of Wands. You're very, 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 very confident. It's all your energy. It's for you. And somebody wants you stuck. Okay? But to look. Look at the picture. Ten of Cups here, Taurus. It's, it's, it's for you. It's for you. That's just it. Somebody wants to control it. Page of Wands. Yep, they're going to come send you a message. Spirit, give me some for that. Six of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Six, six could be a very significant number for many of you. Okay? Page of Swords. They're watching. They need some of your clout. They ache for it. Okay? They ache for it. Why? I don't know, Taurus. What is this person aching for clout for, Spirit? Please give me something. Because you've healed. You've healed from them. They find that to be offensive. Yep, look at I can't make it up. Five of wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody finds it offensive that you healed from them. That you got tired. Nine of swords. I mean, nine of wands. You got tired. Okay, you turned your back looking to do things. And here you are at the seven of wands. You are completely guarded. Okay? And it's all for your protection. Spirit ain't trying to make you feel this way. This is what you start. This is what you're going to start feeling towards. You're going to be like, oh, hell no. I'm too guarded, okay, to have anything else come in that's not meant for me. I'm too guarded. I'm too guarded. A lot of people say it's a bad thing. No, Taurus. That's a good thing to be guarded, okay? There's isolation being placed here. It's like roadblocks, okay? Here we are with the connection. Here we are with the card, babe. Call it. it's, it's called unrepairable, okay? The damage is done. This is not one time, Taurus. So if this is somebody that hurt you one time and you think, no, this isn't that type of reading. This is somebody that's done a lot of things here. Okay, they've done enough. That's what it is. They've done enough. And Spirit's here to show you. Look, Pursuit, got my eye on you. Coming in for that clout, baby. What do you mean? I see you being confident. I'm going to message you. All right? Seven Swords, I'm sneaking and talk to you, even though I might be with somebody else. I might sneak and talk to you, figure out what's going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because it looks like the grass is greener where you're at. Even though I didn't want to help you water the motherfucker, I still want to come back. Spirit's like, you know what? Uh, I think I think not, ho. I'm going to isolate Taurus because the ideas and their, their ambition and all that, that's to be protected. It's to be protected because it's an energy because you know Taurus is very comforting. You know Taurus is very loving. Well, Taurus is built that way. You're built to be deceptive. You're built to be in this energy of having Taurus and anxiety when they should really be in this energy of comfort. I think not. I say anxiety because the nine of swords here with the comfort card. Somebody got their lines mixed up. Somebody went into the right lane when the car was already there in the lane. They didn't look in the mirror or nothing. They just tried to shove over. Uh-uh, because they're greedy. Spirit, what else we got going on here? What else for Taurus? God dang, that's a lot. Okay. For some of you, this is a karmic energy. Okay. All right, it says here to teach you a lesson. Here they are again to show you one. You get to make your decision, Taurus. Who you text and trust issues at play. You don't trust this person. They do a lot. Okay. Trapped. All right. I want out. This is exactly what this person's going to put you back into. This rope. Not, you know, not, not actually Taurus. Don't know. But this person's going to put you in that, in that energy. Like, you know, where you feel like you can't go nowhere. Like the, the, I told you, like the anxiety and stuff like that. When you're supposed to be in this comfort energy. This person's actually jealous of you, Taurus, because you're irresistible to life. You're irresistible to the universe. You're irresistible to your angels. You are protected. There's a shield over you, and they're hostile and hurt and angry and mad and sad over it. This person feels ashamed. They feel guilty, but all those emotions that they're having are negative emotions. Here you are being appreciated, respecting yourself, knowing how successful you are, being confident, using your discernment, trusting in what you feel. Okay, Taurus, being very nurturing towards self, and somebody wants to come in with their karmic bitch, their karmic bitch ass, and they want to fucking rule the world. No, they're not. This person's coming in for some damn clout. This is what they look like behind closed doors when they're doing shit or hoping for the worst for you and they show up in your face like this. I'm doing just fine. I never know. And then you say, oh, Taurus, you want to go out to dinner? You're like, ah, no. Oh, that's okay. I have plans anyway. They get home. You mother... You turned against me. I knew you didn't love me. Well, uh -uh. Nope. They're teaching you a lesson. It says unrepairable. Now, for some of you, you can repair it if you want to. 
But be very mindful. You're going to still have those trust issues because this person does a lot of smiling and texting on their phone. Taurus, here's another card. I have your back no matter what. Loyalty. That's what this person wants to come in and portray, that they want to be with you. Okay? Here you are trapped in the energy, Taurus, where you're the one that has their back no matter what. But you're going to be having trust issues with this person. Does that make any sense to you, Taurus? No, not to me. Back of the deck, we got drama. Always fighting. They'll go right back to fighting with this person. They'll go right back to sadness and, 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 and drool and bubbles. and Yeah, look. Make the great escape, Taurus. Planning on leaving. Get the hell out of Dodge. Because here we got the nine, of, the nine of Wands, Three of Wands, and Seven of Wands. There's a lot of Wand energy. Passionate enough to heal and know, Taurus, that, you know, whatever this person is... Okay, because we got the three of swords in reverse and we got the page of swords. That's four swords. Whatever this person is, you've you've healed from this narcissistic energy. Okay, they might have the traits or something. I don't know why I just said narcissist. That's the energy I was getting from that. I don't know why. I, just, mm -mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And my collective reading, you know, for the collective collective, um, my camera went off. And I'm just like, there's somebody that doesn't want you to get the message. That's what I be getting. And some of my personal readings, too, I'd be getting that. Where people don't want... The, there's someone in the energy that doesn't want them to get the message. They might have a feeling or they're trying to conceal something so badly. They don't even want them getting it through the divine. Okay? Courtship. Something new's coming in for you, Taurus. Mm. What's this courtship, spirit, please? Ooh, wealthy man or wealthy woman. Somebody that's not only wealthy in money could be, but they're wealthy in the mind. They're established. They know what it is they want. And I don't want to play no games. Okay, of course. We got Drake in the building. Okay, great fortune at the bottom of the deck. This is going in your favor. This is the wheel turning for you, Taurus. Okay, from somebody that just was not willing to cooperate. That karmic energy. All right, pick that up from the bottom of the deck. Spirit, what else here for Taurus? Close it out. Whoa, that car went flying. Where you at? Where you at? Main male in the reverse. So you got an ex or somebody coming back trying to be in this energy. Because they see this energy. Somebody, somebody's courting you. In a very beautiful way. Spirit's isolating you towards because great fortune is coming towards you. Somebody with ambition. Somebody with, with respect and integrity is coming into your life. But here with the main male in the reverse, okay? Somebody wants to be your main, but they're karmic energy, okay? And it's not a good karmic energy, too. It's like you're supposed to learn that lesson. It's supposed to move forward, okay? They have some type of, oh, wow. False person in the reverse, meaning that they are exposed. You know who they are. Despair in the reverse. You're no longer despair over them. But seven of swords or nine of swords, they want to come in. They want to cause you, you know... They're expecting to cause you some type of difficult thing where you need to make a decision between them or me. I think towards you're going to pick exactly who you need to pick, okay? We got mature male, mature woman. Your mom, father, their mom, father. Somebody don't like somebody here. Somebody can smell somebody from a mile away. Thief, yep. There we go. Smell them from a mile away. So y'all got some elders around you, Taurus, in one shape or form or another, a father or mother. Maybe the mother and father are not together. They don't have to be. But there's old, there's mature individuals that have already seen stuff like this play out, and they know exactly the steps of what's happening. They're able to see it, and they feel like you need to be like in this energy where you need to kind of be by yourself and alone to be protected from someone that wants to come in and love bomb you. Because the comfort you give is unmatchable. They can't find it anywhere else, and they got a problem with that. You've taken that away. They got a problem with that. Because towards what's really happening is things are being balanced for you. Balanced to what? Six of swords. Bounce and move away. Okay? Get away from the energy. Get away from the con from the con conflict. All that type of stuff. Okay? Silently. You don't have to tell this person you're going anywhere. Okay? And that's what makes you more attractive. Is that you're not giving them all the blueprint. So here they come with the nine of cups. One of romance and things. This person can really talk their tongue off. Okay? They want to reconcile with you. That's for sure. All right, they want to reconcile, but Taurus, that's going to be completely up to you. Look, Taurus, in my readings, I know I may sound like, babe, I want to tell y'all what to do. Okay, I kind of want to tell y'all what to do, but you know, that's not going to be up to me as an adult, you know, as the reader that you trust me to be in when I'm giving out the energy. I want you to know, Taurus, that every time you have to use your own discernment, that's the thing about your compass, your gut compass, your intuition, is you get to decide which direction you want to go in, whatever direction feels more comfortable for you, whatever direction feels more um, at peace for you. Do that. It doesn't matter what I'm saying here. You get to make your own decisions. But Taurus, you know, to be honest, I feel like just smiles here. I really want to see you in your joyous and your peaceful energy. That's truly what I want. Crosswatcher, I want the same thing for you. But if you're doing this bad shit to my Taurus, you need to get to you need to get the fucking stepping. Find somebody else that wants to play that game. Taurus, same for you. If you're doing this to somebody to my crosswatcher, you're doing something to them like this, get to stepping. Leave them alone. All that's gonna do is build karma up for you. In a bad way, okay? In a bad way. Stop being childish, okay? Put in the work, okay? And then take your ass home.
Okay. <laughs> somebody, okay, Taurus. This is somebody you probably were with. All right. You have a child with, okay. You're putting in a lot of work in the connection. You are a stay at home mom to a child, okay. And now it's time for you to go on this journey. All right. It's time for you to go on this journey. All right. And from an ending that happened with somebody, an ending. You missed the family dynamic and things like that, but you're going to be given a better gift. Somebody's going to be very concerned about this, okay, because you're making a decision. They're going to be all in their head about it, okay, because there's a change going on here, a transformation, all right? You might be getting unexpected income. Something good's going to happen for you, Taurus, because guess what? You're the official person, all right? And somebody's going to be laid back in the cut, male, main male in the reverse, in poverty, okay, and bad health, because that's what they bring. They bring that and they give it out, okay? They give it out to everybody they possibly can get in contact with stealing, thieving, whatever have you. Because I'm telling you, the grandparents and the mom and the dad were right. They know somebody's a damn thief around in your energy. So somebody's telling you, Taurus, heed to what they're saying. And then somebody, somebody's going to get a message of concern, okay? Taurus didn't fall for the go get the, for, Taurus didn't fall for the bullshit. Taurus didn't fall for it, okay? Somebody might be sending somebody in that's not even somebody you know to try to coach you into, like, seeing if you're, if you're dating other people, Okay, distant horizon in the reverse. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna get to the distance because it ain't gonna happen. You're held in too much of high honor, Taurus. Okay, you're held too much. You're, you're in too much high honor here. Okay, your spirit guides, your ancestors, they all have the meetings already. They said, Look, man, whoever that is down there needs to leave Taurus alone. Okay, period, point blank. All right, they need to quit fighting over Taurus and all that because we already got to take, we already got taken care of. Things are gonna be balanced for Taurus. Balance this Taurus dipping the hell out. We're not gonna allow this. No. And Taurus, a lot of you are leaving this person's life silently. You're not going to leave their life all yelling, I'm done with you, and you can find them whoop they whoop they whoop You're not going to do all that. You're not. Because to be honest, this person's not enough. They're, they're not enough. It's not that they're not enough. They're not worth it. They're not worth it trying to take and shit. No. Somebody here, Taurus, you're dealing with having an STD. Could. Don't mean they do. Long journey. Old worn-out shoes symbolize life's hardships and the toll they take, reflecting the sense of awareness and longing for stability. The condition of the souls mirrors the soul's fatigue from life's long journey, indicating a need for rest and renewal. This imagery highlights the impact of life's challenges on your physical and spiritual well-being. Okay? Taurus, you've been through a lot. All right? You've been through a lot. And somebody here with some S, well, they want to come in, they want to court you and all that. Main male in the reverse, main female in the reverse or whatnot. No, they ain't. Okay. Yeah. What they do is they play games. Manipulative, insecure, immature. Okay. Unreliable, selfish, strategic, petty, unstable, irresponsible. They probably don't even know how to pay their own bills. Okay. All right. You took a long journey with this person at one point. They're exposed. Okay. You're no longer in despair, but they were expecting you to be in despair. They weren't expecting to be exposed, though. Engagement, commitment, unity, promise, bond, forever, journey, love, partnership. Things are going to come in for you. Okay. Once you let go of this mother effort that's playing a bunch of games, though. They got to go. Spirit wants to take you away from the I don't feel like spirit wants to isolate you from the whole world. I feel like it's from someone specially. Because they have some strange ideas that you need to be protected from for your own comfort. Now, see... Look at look what's coming. Look at look at look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Spirit, give me some closing messages here for Taurus. Aich. Closing messages on the nine of wands, three of wands, and the seven of wands, because that's pretty much the outcome. Spirit, three cards, please, for Taurus. I. Oh, okay. I got more than I was looking for. Oh, my ring came off. I love this ring, you guys. Isn't that cute? Okay, hold on, babe. Goal. Yep. Goal oriented. Look at that. You tired. You tired of sticking around in one spot. You're ready for something new. Good news, Taurus. Good news is coming. There might be an email or something. You might have applied for something. Good news is coming. That goal is going to be great. Natural disaster. Risk, frustration, survive. You survive in the storms. Okay. Even though you're tired, you're going to survive it, Taurus. Then you got somebody here with a bunch of pride. Pride and ego. Okay. You tired of that too. All right. And then we have third wheel. Somebody likes to have three, three, three ways. Okay. You're tired of it. You're blocking them out. All right. You have goals to achieve. You got good news coming in. Somebody brings in natural disasters because they pride ass and they want to be with their third parties. Okay. You're healed from that. Okay. So we got the nine of wands. We got the three of wands and we got the seven of wands. Your back is turned towards this person. You're looking towards the future. That's great news. And your goals are going to be, um, they're going to be executed in a very good way. But be careful of a natural disaster, like a tower coming in with somebody with a pride and ego wanting to come in and make you a third wheel once again. They'll hide it very well. Oh, no, that's just my friend. She can sit next to you. And look, they're over there holding hands while the person in the middle, Taurus, is actually showing this person affection. Uh-uh. No, Taurus, you're too damn smart for that. Spirit, give me something for this energy. Okay, yeah, that's why we have rejection at the beginning. 
rejecting someone. Playing games, spirit playing games. Yep, here they come in, want to play more games. They see you in an abundant energy and they play games with that. Okay, and they should really be doing some reflecting work. But look at Taurus. Listen to your intuition, Taurus, because your sweetness is impeccable. Impeccable. It's beautiful. You're kind. You're loving. You're gentle. Okay, I'm not saying you're a punk. I'm saying that you're somebody that everybody would want to be around. Love, gentle, reliable, established. Everybody loves that energy. Ace of Pentacles been out here twice. I can see why. There's abundance coming for you, Taurus, because you're letting go of somebody that once played games. It was a long journey with this person. Now, remember, this could be spiritually, sexually transmitted demon. Or disease, okay? Either one. Take your pick. Listen to your intuition, Taurus. Use your discernment no matter what. Spirit, give me something for this abundance here. Message of concern. Look, somebody try to come in and sneak. Message of concern. Taurus, get the abundance and I'm not? What? No, yeah, that's right. So go home, fight with your friends, family, cousins, whatever. Y'all fight over why Taurus is getting the justice that they deserve. Or cross watcher. Okay, and then move on in the Six of Swords if you can find a clear waters because your ass likes swimming in dirt, mud, whatever it is. <laughs> Taurus, I love you guys so moving back, babe, okay? I was like, you guys stay in your power. Be at peace, Taurus. Be joyful. Let other people stay mad, sad, whatever. If they don't get glad, they're going to be mad at themselves, Taurus. You keep moving forward, loving yourself, okay? Please, Taurus, know your worth. You are worth you 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 are worth everything that you worth you deserve everything okay or crosswatch whoever this is you deserve everything and anybody's coming around you with that womp 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 telling you different cancel cancel them out it ain't that ain't that all right Taurus I love y'all so much I hope you take care and I'll see you in the next one Mwah. bye bye.